Um, this all started in July when we received a notice of changing the cleaning procedure for the heater cooler device in the same month that a publication occurred in the infectious disease literature making a linkage between this machine and a certain type of infection and then a recognition by one of the um, uh, tertiary hospitals in the area that they had a few patients they were treating for this who had undergone surgery and based on the publication they made the linkage. All these things happened within a few days of each other and our team jumped into immediate action. We brought in the Department of Health, we invited in the Center for Disease Control and we also went about immediately replacing all of the devices to make sure that we eliminated the risk and kept patients safe. They circulate warm or cold water through other devices to transfer heat, kind of the way a furnace in your basement transfers heat to a radiator. Um, that's the way these machines work. And we, um, so they don't come in contact with the blood or the patient directly. Uh, they don't come in contact with the operative field. Uh, because they're running through closed pipes, we did not think that there was any way that the water or the bacteria that might be going in the water was coming in contact with patients. But these cases and the discovery of the cases led to a thorough investigation and a lot of um, hard work over several weeks with the CDC to put together the pieces to show that bacteria could in fact get from within this machine in certain circumstances to a patient. What we want to get this out is two things. One, there are patients who might be having early symptoms in our community and not know they're having it, so that's why we want them to contact us and call our call center. But we also want other hospitals who may not realize that they have this machine that's putting patients at risk to know about it.